UK and EU officials in Brussels failed to get a much hoped for breakthrough on Brexit. This after a series of twists and turns that saw their tentative deal derailed over the issue of an Irish border. As deadlines and negotiations remain in flux in the region, there is one sign of strength. European startups are on pace to collect a record $19 billion from investors this year. That's according to a report by the London-based venture capital firm Atomico. And Tom Vehmeyer, partner and head of research at Atomico, joins us now from London. So, Tom, how how does all this last minute Brexit situation impact tech, impact you in the UK? Well, well good afternoon, first of all, and th thanks for having me on. Um, so look, this is the third year in a row that we've published our State of European Tech report. And really what we're trying to do is, is use data to kind of tell the story of, of what's happening around the technology industry across Europe. The headline numbers are that we've seen 19 billion invested across the region. You know, what we think is, is interesting when you look at that number is just two years ago when, when we first took a look at this, we were celebrating the 10, 10 billion mark. It is clear that we do see that macro events, whether it's Brexit on the one hand or things like the election of Macron on the other hand, you know, are, are really sort of having a, an impact in terms of the sentiment both of, of the region's founders and its investors. Do you expect Brexit to have a longer term effect, however? So I think you know, one of the things that, that we see is very interesting in terms of the key trends playing out in Europe's tech industry today is, is what we've called this sort of battle royale for talent. And you know, when we think about what, we, what, what we're seeing in terms of this kind of fight for technology talent, there are three interesting fronts. Um, you know, first of all, the more that we're seeing companies being founded and, and funded across the region, of course, you're getting more and more startups across Europe competing for technology talent. As you just mentioned, we've also seen the, the sort of landing and expanding of major technology giants, particularly from the US into the region, which, which sort of also adds to the, com to the intensity of competition for talent. And then on the third front, um, Europe's corporates are becoming more and more engaged and, and more and more on the hunt for the right kind of tech talent as they're sort of seeking to respond to the transformation that's happening around them. What's interesting is when you think about all three of those key trends, they really play out across borders uh, within Europe. And, and, and some of the data that we've been able to show in the report is, you know, there are some interesting signs about how both inbound technology talent coming into the UK tech industry, as well as on the outbound side in terms of tech talent potentially moving out of the UK is, is being affected, um, you know, by the, the situation that we've seen, uh, you know, around Brexit. Of course, Brexit hasn't happened yet, and it's, it's too early to tell, but, you know, what, what we do see is that that other countries where there are very strong ecosystems around Europe, whether it's Germany, France, or increasingly now, you know, smaller markets such as the Netherlands or Sweden, you know, they're, they're really sort of in this hunt for talent.